well. The mole uh, deceived me. She said the runner would be unharmed, and yet they killed him. I can see no reason for his murder other than vengeance and cruelty. How can I trust someone like that? I can't let this lie pass, or I will appear weak. I don't know about appearing weak, but like murdering someone after you said you wouldn't is, I think, a fine reason to get mad. There's no need to antagonize the mole. If I want her to give us weapons, I must play by her rules, no matter how deceptive she may be. And my mission was to get the weapons, not to spare a runner's life. He was just a boy. He'd harmed no one. Does she hate the Azadi so much that she's been completely blinded? Eh. Uh, stand by your morals. You lied to me, Mole. Just like Azadi lied to my people. Just like they say, come out, little one. You will not be harmed before they slaughter them all. That boy did no harm to your people. Banda children did not harm your people. If she has something on her mind, I should let her speak. We have no time for this. I know my people have committed atrocities. We are not the only ones. What's important now is to make sure this never happens again. And we need this one's help to win the war. Mm. If she has something on her mind, I should let her speak. I feel like letting her speak does sort of, uh, like, show respect. But, like... We have no time for this. Come on. I know my people have committed atrocities. We are not the only ones. What about the rest of our agreement? I may not honor that part of the arrangement, but I will honor most important part. Your resistance will get weapon. All the weapon I have to give. I still need some for my men. Sharpest sword, swiftest axe, strongest bow. But the rest go to your people. Well, not your people, Azadi. Your people rebel movement, otherwise would be silly. Of course, thank you. My men will be in touch with your women, and also men. Leave now, Azadi. All right. It's dark and late, and I will sleep. I should have just let her speak. Sleep and dream of happier day in Burrow to the north, where laughter of children fill every tunnel. Dream of friend and of family, while I mourn them all. It's really sad. Hard to believe that such a little thing can command dozens of men and such fear and respect. Whenever she mentions my people, there's hatred <laughs> and resentment. What did they do to her? Are you serious? She's a magical, and she obviously harbors no love for my people, or for humanity in general. So why isn't she with the rebels? Yeah, let's go through it. Why haven't you joined the resistance? The shepherd asks same thing. Why not join resistance? How quickly they forget how they treat Banda before. How they look down on us. Call us mole man, mud dweller, snub snout and soil monkey. The magical treat Banda much the same as human treat Banda. Mm. Like muck underneath toenail, like filth. I have no love for resistance. I have no use for resistance, but resistance fight Azadi, fight human. So I sell you weapon and food and medicine, and I don't fight resistance. The enemy of my enemy is, well, not friend, but at least not enemy. All right, this is the dumbest Whenever question. Mentions the Azadi soldiers, they attacked your village. In brightest day, they come and we scurry. Human never good sign. Human always trouble. But never like this, never like this. We scurry into burrow and we close hatch and we sing softly to earth to make new tunnel. Wow. Just in case, just in case. But a Zardi soldier, they have scheme. They are clever. They cover every hole and they throw fire into burrow. Fire that make black smoke. Children, the old, the weak, many suffocate. The rest, we are blind. We cry, we crawl upward, out of burrow. 
The Azadi wait for us with club and sword and spear. They laugh while they murder. We try plead. They only laugh. I stumble. Sword snip my ear. Not hear so well in here now. I knock head. Fall into dreamless sleep. When I wake, my world gone. All because of Azadi. All because of your people. Mm. Huh? I hear you run the Mercurian underworld. You hear, you hear? Is where I belong. Underworld in Burrow is my natural habitat. But there's more to it than that. You run a criminal empire. Empire. It's impressive. Only human have empire. Only human be empress of empire. Me, I run business. Business in Burrow. Underground. Underworld. It's an impressive feat for one so small. Spoken like big human. Size not matter. Size irrelevant. Is strength elsewhere? In head, in heart, in mouth. Lucky me. The mole is strong in head, in heart. And especially in mouth. <laughs> well, okay. I should continue my assignment. I must leave. Good. Moon moving. Night only has so many hours. Well, that was uncomfortable. Let's get out of here. So the rooster and kitten, eh? So we need to go up the road and then follow it to the right. Doesn't like stairs, this man. After my shift's over, I think I'll head down to that cheap tavern by the arbor. Oh, what's it called again? The cock and puss. No, no. Uh, the rooster and kit, that's it. All right. Glad we had this conversation. Also, this was definitely an area in Dreamfall chapters. A map of <laughs> or the Dreamfall. Parts of Mercuria. Sorry. Obviously, it's an area in Dreamfall chapters. That's where we are. Wow. This fountain's cool looking, though. Not cool enough to remark on, but, you know, cool. Yeah, I think it should just be on the right here. Oh no, that's... That's the salty semen. Here it is. Slightly different. Alvik doesn't have the most sophisticated or upscale clientele, and I'm sure he's happy about that. What can I get you, my good man? I'm not here to drink, and I have no use for alcohol. 
It clouds the mind, confuses the heart, and taints the soul. Goddess knows I'm not a drinking man. What does one order to blend properly in with the patrons of this filthy hive? I have little faith in the quality of the water in this place, but I can at least hold a cup and pretend to be drinking stronger stuff. It's time to stay hydrated. I'll take a cup of water. Water? Why would you want to order that foul stuff? I'm afraid we serve no water here, da. Mm. Fish fucking that, you know. <laughs> Whoa. Here's your merry minstrum, da. Just, just take it. Your friend. She's upstairs. Friend? Yes. Your friend. She's been waiting. You don't want to keep a woman waiting for too long. Fair enough. I should be getting home. Just one more. One more for the road. A bit of Dolmari courage to help me get started. And then I'll head home. That's, uh, not Anu. Looks like oh, Liliana. Finally. There you are. Sit. Please, I saved your seat. Smile. We're old friends, remember? I don't remember that at all. Who are you? I'll tell you who I'm not. I'm not with the Resistance, and I'm not Azadi. If you're not with the Resistance and you're not Azadi, who are you working for? I'm working for me. And I can either make your life easier, or a lot worse. This must be a mistake. The publican was clearly confused. This woman is not looking for me. Wrong man's. She claims to be my friend, and then she threatens me. Not the best way to begin a conversation. Who in Shadow's name is this <laughs> woman? If she's looking for me, I need to know why. I think denial's a good choice here. I'm sorry, but you have the wrong man. I would be a bit more careful, Apostle. If anyone here knew your name, you're a popular man, Kianavane. Apostle. Everyone wants a piece of you. I hear there's even a bounty on your head. I'm afraid you've left me at a disadvantage. I'll even the battlefield. I have as many names as I have friends and enemies. Some call me Anna. What do you want from me? Anna. I'm kind of playing. Says you're a clever boy. I want your assistance, but not right now. You're meeting someone. I'd hate to get in the way. How I did just you... wanted a chance to introduce <coughs> myself, and now I have. So it's time to leave. Let me up sometime. You can find me at this table most evenings. If not, old Vic can pass a message. Hmm. Big man behind the bar. Wears an apron with a cock, a rooster, and a kitten on it. Can't miss him. Be seeing you. Friend? Wait. How did you see through my veil? What? You shouldn't be able to recognize me on sight. Unless you know me intimately. I don't know what you're talking about. Be seeing you, Alvane. Hmm. Well, that's a mystery for another time. Yeah, just... Leave your booze there. You don't need it. The witch and the vicar had six shots of liquor and presently went for a walk. Come on, said the clergy. A man has his urges, but the witch only wanted to talk. <laughs> All right. Who was that? What? Who? Where? That woman, who was she? A mystery woman, huh? I don't know. I'm not a guy. I don't go looking at every woman who passes by. Liko? Uh-huh. Did you see a mystery woman? No. God, you need to get out more. Is this place safe for the two of you? What? Oh, you mean this. The face. The fur. This is a safe place. But a Zadi drink here. All that keeps it all under control. Also, magicals are still allowed passage in the city as long as they have valid passes and carry no weapons. 
visibly. <laughs> you have passes? Sure do, but we it's... We shouldn't push our luck. It's time to go. Yeah, why did we meet yeah, in this dangerous that. place? Come on, Kian. You passed Liko's test. You're okay. We'll head back to HQ. Test? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, um, Liko? I told you I would not trust you. And now you do. No. I merely distrust you a little less. But you did well. I won't kill you. Well, yet. that's good. That's him being real friendly, you know. Hugs? No? Yeah, me neither. Okay, we really need to go. Come on. Does that mean I got the right person? Well, fine, I'll go then. Follow. So what did your mystery Red woman threads. look like? Very cute. She had long auburn hair and light freckled skin. She dressed like a ranger. Of course she did. Your type, huh? I don't really have a a type. Really? A guy like you, I thought you'd be super choosy. Oh, you've got to have something to say about this. Got it. I've not had much time for for women in my life. Leaping leapers? Are you joking? How old are you? Look at you, you're gorgeous. <laughs> uh, how did that come out of my mouth? Leaping leapfurs? Nope. Just nope. You do like women though, right? Shadow take me. Huh. Not that there's anything wrong with you know. In fact, I could have That's set quite you up enough, with. Hey, no. I don't know. This just happens. It's a sickness. I open my mouth and blah. It's really disturbing. Lots of lots of schoolgirl crushes going on in the resistance. School child. School child crushes doesn't really have the same ring to it, eh? Passes. What are you doing out so late? Drinking. Dancing. Just drinking. Next time, go drinking inside the wall. We don't need your kind at our bars. <clears throat> no, uh, you're absolutely right. You really, really don't. Goodbye. Why did we meet there? Dancing. Right then and there, it felt like an appropriate answer. Tell me again about this test. Yeah. I expected you to run straight to your mistresses, Alvani. You may be of some use to us for a while. I will still kill you. Nothing you can do will ever repay your debt to my family and people. Cheerful. Debt? Never you mind, Zidling. This is between the Apostle and myself. Zidling? Really? Really? You know I'm not actually a Zidling, right, Glumbum? I'm of age and I've already been with several that men- That mouth thing again, Zidling. <laughs> Thanks. Several? Nice. Where is everyone? In bed, I guess. It is late. He's right. It's never this empty. Something's wrong. We should hurry. There's something moving over there in that second skull from the left. Oh shit. Oh no. Is Anya gonna die? Because we've like specifically poised her to be as likable as possible. Uh. Cool. We need to keep moving. We don't know how many of them there are. <sighs> good catch, Kian. That was a good catch, wasn't it, Liko? He survived. It was acceptable. Ah, uh, he's totally warming up to you. Well, Thank we did gods it. gods of old, our boat is still here. Ladies first. That means you guys. You guys were the ladies. It was a joke. Fine. I'll 
I'll go first. I laughed. On the inside. It's a bad joke. You would have exploded. I don't think your body can handle laughter, Liko. See, because it's funny because I'm insisting that you're not the gender that you are. That's a joke. Laugh. Ugh. All right, we're we're in a hurry. I'm glad you're all back safely. How did it go? Kian was awesome. He even saved our lives. I would have caught the arrow. Yeah, I know, but Kian did, and it was awesome. Any news of the informer? We brought him here for questioning. Was that wise? He knows our location now. That won't be a problem for long. Mm. Maybe not for you, Liko, but it is a problem for me. We don't just execute our prisoners once we're done with them. I'm really worried I picked the wrong person. How did the rest of your mission go? Alvani followed our instructions. He completed his task to our satisfaction. The end result was adequate. Hey, whoa. Don't get all mushy on us now, Liko. I'm glad to see that the three of you can work together. While you were away, we received some news. Bob, who can see? Right you are, ma'am. As most of you know, the first of the six has been due to arrive in Mercuria for weeks now. Well, she's arrived. Their cloud ship docked with the tower not an hour ago. And she ain't alone. First is the Azadi's highest authority. Of course you won't travel alone. Thanks for I stating that for the that, audience. I'm not talking about bodyguards or handmaidens or the like. No. She's got some real interesting company. One General Hani alongside a mother Utana. What did you say? Hami, General, Utana, mother. Do you know them? I do. They're with the first of the six. So word has it. How do you know this? Do you have eyes inside the tower? Not inside, no. On the ground, here and there, close enough. Some tell secrets for money or to protect their own secrets. Some are sympathetic to the magicals. And some are unhappy with Saya and her lapdog Vamon. They run the city still. Word is, they're intimate a sister and a soldier that's a capital crime yikes well that with saya ruling the church and vamon the state here in Mercuria, there's not much anyone can do if anyone can it will be general hami and mother utana you know them well then you knew you knew they were coming and you knew my history with them that's why you freed me from Naane! Hey. What news from Miria? Liko, Shepard. The rebuilding progresses and... Alvani, you are... on your feet again. The traitor. What's that witch doing here? What? They must not know who she is and what she's done. If I tell them now, she's dead. I must confront her in private. I mean, she was with April. I don't... The traitor. She betrayed the resistance to save herself. And now she's come back? Don't they know who she is and what she's done? I must tell them before she flees. I forgot that. Um... Let's play it safe. They're... They're all well. Rebuilding... Uh, apologies, Shepard. I'm tired from my travels. I would like to retire to my quarters. Of course. Let's speak tomorrow. That goes for all of us. The hour is late. We will reconvene after breakfast. You knew they were coming. The General and the Mother. That's why you sent Captain Bakim to Friar's Keep. That's why you freed me. Kian. Liko was right. You're using me. All those words about being a symbol, about being important to the Resistance. Does the one exclude the other? You are a symbol. You are a warrior. And now, 
You're a rebel. I knew they were coming, Utan and Hami. And I knew from our spies in Sardia that you were bound to them both. We saw an opportunity, and we sent Barkin to free you. You can see that we're desperate, Kian. Afraid, alone. Most humans have already given up, given in, become comfortable with this new world, with the Azadi. Yikes. Many have forgotten about the magicals, or chosen to forget. They carry on their lives, even if we cannot. We few are all that remains of the resistance. If we lose, all is lost. Our lives, our hopes, our entire future. Lost to darkness. I will do anything to save my people. Make terrible sacrifices, tell lies, anything. Wouldn't you, Kian? So yes, you are a tool. And you are a symbol, our secret weapon, the key to our survival. It's been a long and tiring day, mm. and there's still much I need to do. We can continue our conversation another day. Yeah, let's let's talk to her. Um, she said she's gonna go to her quarters, so probably around this way. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What? What's that about? I've been expecting you. Why did you protect me in there? Why not tell them what I did? I only had a moment to decide. That's not enough time to weigh a person's life. I have no intention of protecting her secrets, but her selfless actions granted me a second chance. At the very least, she deserves to be heard. It was her portal that helped me escape the keep. She healed my wounds. She knew I might expose her, and yet... Yet she saved my life. I called her a traitor. But are we so different? Mm. I have no intention of protecting her secrets. But her selfless actions granted me a second chance. Because I wanted to give you a chance to tell your story. Will you hear me out before making your decision? Everyone deserves to be heard. I will base my decision on what I know and what I think is right. Not on her words. Ev Speak. When I gave you the location of our base and betrayed April, oh. I thought I was sacrificing one person to save everyone else. But many died because of my actions. This has haunted me. I have questioned my motives. Did I sell her out to save the shipment of food and medicines? Without it, many would have suffered. The old, the sickly, the children. Or did I betray the resistance to save my own skin? I would have been executed by the Azadi. I truly don't know. Perhaps it was a little of both. Perhaps things are yeah. not so black and white. We can never truly know the consequences of our actions. If you keep my secret, I can continue to help. I am of real value to the Resistance, despite my crimes. Turn me in, and more will suffer. But justice, for what it's worth, will be served. It's your choice to make, Alvane, not mine. What I is mean... your decision? You could also what be you honest. With me? I... However she chooses to justify her betrayal, regardless of her importance to the Resistance, the others deserve to know. Her fate needs to be in their hands. She's important to the Resistance. Without her, they will be even weaker. I must protect her secret, whatever the consequences. So, the way it's framing this, it kind of treats it like a... Uh... You know, like a choice between uh, forgiveness and revenge, right? But, frankly, this is a choice between honesty and lies. Like, However, we're not she saying to if... justify her betrayal, regardless of her importance to the resistance, the others deserve to know. Her fate needs to be in their hands. Yeah. Like, this 
this isn't putting her to death. He doesn't have that power. But it's... I'm gonna do it. Actually, what, what did people say? Yeah, everyone's She's important uh... to the resistance. However, she choose. I mean it. The others must know of your betrayal. Very well. Like I understand. Will you allow me to make my own confession to Shepard? Yeah, that sounds really that. good, actually. Thank you, and I'm sorry for all the pain I have caused. I should have let you kill me. I should have been stronger. If I had then maybe Liko wouldn't be in so much pain. April would be alive, and you would still be the Apostle. Mm -hmm. I mean, that second thing doesn't sound good, actually, but... The first is on her way. Has she mentioned him? I don't think so. You do know she's brought General Harmy and that mother with her. Utana. It means nothing. The general was due back in the Northlands. What about the mother? She's rumored to be next in line for the seat. She wants to be involved. She was also the bleeding heart who practically raised Alvare. She sponsored his whole education. Thanks for reminding me. She could be a problem, but what can we do? We make sure none of them know Kian is alive and with the resistance. Mistress, your presence here honors us. Sister Sire, this is an impressive edifice. It appears your work here has borne fruit. We believe so, Mistress. We welcome you to Mercuria and the Northlands. Anything you need, you let me know. Mother, I'm pleased to see you as well. To have the both of you here is a great honor. Mm -hmm. Quite. <laughs> the seat wants to know how the mission goes. How the Northlanders are handling the transition, and how many of them have chosen to embrace the light of the goddess. We will speak of this, and much more. For now, we have prepared dinner for all of you. I hope you will join me. Right. Well, I am starving. The food on those cloud ships. General, I did not expect to see you back so soon. Neither did I. What's this I hear about Kian? Ha. Yes, what of the Apostle? It pains me to inform you that Alvane died in a riot. He was detained under penalty of death until your visit, mistress. Unfortunately, the rebels snuck their agents into the prison. They cut him down and burned his body. Goddess guide his immortal soul to the first mountain. With every respect to you and your seat, mother, Alvane was a traitor. He betrayed the cause and he- May I remind you, sister, that the Apostle was never relieved of his title and should be addressed properly? Amen. And may I also remind you that without a proper trial and judgment by the first of the six, his so-called treason remains an accusation and nothing more. Now that he's no longer with us, we may never know the truth. But our people will not be told that the Apostle was a traitor. Mother. How did you say he died, Commander? Uh, stabbed during a riot. They burned his body, hopefully after he'd bled out. We weren't able to retake the prison until the next morning. I will need to see the keep for myself, Commander, <laughs> and interview the guards and prisoners. I conspicuously do Certainly. not believe you. I shall make arrangements for you to visit in a couple of days. Don't bother, Bamel. I'll go there tomorrow. You don't have to trouble yourself. I'm sure you have better things to do. As you wish, Mir. How is the engine progressing? The engineers are working day and night to connect the tubes. We expect to be able to switch it on according to schedule. Good. I have brought the final instructions from Sadir. The architect will send any remaining modifications by cloud ship. And when the Prophet returns, he will inspect the engine before we switch it on. Have you not spoken with him? Not for many months. But he will be here when our Goddess-given task is complete. Only he will know how to bring it to life and to interpret the messages from the engine. Of course. Please, will the two of you accompany me to the dinner table? I'm sure the kitchen is worried the food will turn cold before we are seated. General. Commander. Until tomorrow, sister. Mother? My lady? 
Bamon, if you'll dine with me in my quarters? Of course, Mia. Tell me again what happened at the keep. <laughs> New character unlocked. What does that mean? I'll, I may never know. <laughs>